Hello, this is Tony Riggs with Go Engineer. In this presentation, we're going to take a look at a project that we worked on in the Houston office to print a 3D mold. One of the nice aspects of a position of application engineer at Go Engineer is the ability to use products like SOLIDWORKS and Stratasys 3D printers every day. With this project, we were actually able to combine the use of those two products. I was actually inspired by a toy that I purchased for my son's 8th birthday, and we ended up buying one for us to use at the office. It's a Hot Wheels car maker. It comes with several chassis and different molds to make different versions of the car bodies. So here's a picture of the original mold. And we had Shivani Patel do some of the initial CAD work, and then Corey Bauer and I added some of the finishing touches. So our first version of this uh, was printed on a Stratasys Fortis F250 in ABS plastic, just to check form, fit, and function. But the next versions we used the Stratasys Object 30 Pro to print it in different materials. Our first product was a Go Engineer logo on just a rectangular base. And then we had a little bit more fun and did a few golf tees with a runner. Uh, we were trying to kind of mimic the about half a cubic inch of material that the car bodies used. So the two golf tees didn't use quite up enough material. So our next version is actually the 4T version. So this is a picture showing it on the 30 Pro, uh, finished printing. Uh, next picture is us removing it with a spatula from the tray, and then a look at the support material that attaches it to the platform. With the object machines, the support material is actually removed with a water jet process. So once the material is removed, all we have to do is come in and let it dry off a little bit, and then it's ready to go. So these were printed with the golf tee sections up, and with a glossy finish so that gave us a nice smooth surface uh, for the mold application. And the next picture shows us inserting the mold into the Hot Wheels car maker. It takes about 10 minutes for the mold to warm up before we get started and then it takes a full pull of the handle here to inject the material down through the injection point. We've actually got a few vent holes at the ends of the two uh, different golf tees. So as we pull the part out, uh, it took about 10 minutes to cool down and notice the material coming out of the vent holes just like we, we wanted to happen. Okay. The next picture shows the mold in half. It's got a little bit of flashing around the golf tees but that was trimmed up fairly quickly. And we've got uh, material here you can see actually in the vent holes and there's the injection point. So the next thing we probably want to look at is, is the SOLIDWORKS model itself. There we go. And we've got an exploded view of the mold. Top half, the bottom half, the part being printed. A couple clips that go into these troughs to hold the mold together. And we just went through and either use the insert uh, command features and the combine tool to subtract copies of the four T's from the top and the bottom half of the mold, or I've seen people use the insert features indent to do the same thing. So we're going to come over and take a look at the the plastics version. Uh, we actually use SOLIDWORKS plastics to do some analysis on this. We use a solid mesh uh, to, to get things started. For the polymer and the mold itself, the Hot Wheels uh, toy doesn't actually show up in the list of machines um, and neither does the material but we just went with a default ABS plastic and, and the default machine. Uh, for the fill settings we came in uh, looked at the venting analysis and actually used an option there and then we came in and set the injection location right here at the center of this post and then defined a few air vents. Now, now if we look at the results for this, if we flip back over to the, the PowerPoint, we've got a few things that we're going to take a look at here. We've got the fill time, all kinds of different results that we can find in SOLIDWORKS Plastics, but we're noticing a little red area on this one T. Uh, and if we go back to the previous slide, you can actually see a little bit of a short shot on one of the golf tees there. Now that kind of depends on how fast you pull on the handle 
and and such. Uh, but it was really surprising the results that we saw in SolidWorks Plastics mimic the results that we got in real life very closely. So what we're going to try and do is make the blank version of the mold available for you to download. So watch for a link for that. And we've also heard rumors that the Houston office may be getting a, a small injection molding machine. Uh, so watch for a sequel for this presentation and see what other fun exciting things that we can uh, make with our with our new toy. Uh, so this was Tony Riggs with Go Engineer, and I hope you found this video to be interesting.